For the past several months, I've just been shooting videos for you guys walking around my backyard. But now I have an actual professional studio set up. I want to give you a behind the scenes look and then give you some tips and some tricks for how you can make your content look way more pro without costing a lot more money. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer. Welcome to Video Creators. We are all about helping you grow your YouTube channel so you can reach more people, change their lives with the message that you're spreading. And when you're doing that, the quality of your videos does make a difference. The more professional your videos are, the more higher level of perceived credibility there tends to be for you and your brand and the authority in which you bring to the information you're presenting. Before I dive in and give you guys some tips on how to do that, I wanna thank this video sponsor, which is TechSmith Academy. They have an entire live library of free online courses that's going to help you learn how to do exactly that. One of the first things I did in this room is I wanted a different background. And so as you can see on this wall, I didn't want it to just be plain. I put this stuff like actually is just a sticker. I got it for like 14 bucks on Amazon. It's not actual wood, it's just an adhesive sticker that I placed back there and it just adds some texture. Now if I was gonna do it again, a mistake I made is that the skin tone colors is too close to me. I would rather that be more contrast, but it is what it is. And kind of with the whole room in general, I think I kind of eventually wanna paint this wall and paint this wall again to have a little bit more, like if I show a wide angle, like I am right here, it would look a little better if those walls were maybe like black or red or something like that. So keep your skin tone in mind when you pick your background, which I forgot to do. This room though is also super echoey. So I got sound panels, dampening panels. I got them here. I got them on the other side of the room. I've got them in the corners. And then I also have them up top and on the door and on the wall, basically wherever I'm gonna, um, wherever my voice is going to bounce. And one of the biggest places in this room made a big difference is right up there on the ceiling. Buying those has made a big difference in the audio in this room. And as you guys know, if you wanna sound more professional and you want more credibility, the audio is one of those things that makes the biggest difference. Because people are either listening in their earbuds where it makes, was really amplified, or they're listening to it in their tiny phone speakers and poor audio is just not gonna come through hardly at all. So you might have the fanciest camera in the world, but if they can't hear it, they're out, you'll see high abandonment. Now on this channel, I do a lot of teaching. It's pretty educational. And so I got this TV in here to give you guys something a little bit different visually to look at than just me. And I don't wanna make it too like presentation-y, but showing some examples and things while I'm talking, I think would be good. And it cuts down the editing later for my editor if all that's just kind of like right there for her. Now let's talk about lighting for a second. So important to light it well. So what I have here over there is I have a key light, okay? And that is, pro that is projecting most of the light on me. Over here, I have a fill light. I want a little bit of shadow coming from this light across my face, and so add some depth to it. And then I have this backlight right up here that's giving some light. You can see it coming over my shoulders and over my head. And what it does is it separates me from the background. Let me actually turn off that backlight and you'll see what I mean. I got it plugged in right here. Can you see how flat this image is now? Like it looks like I'm kind of standing right against the wall. There's very little separation, but look at it now if it turned on. See how big of a difference that makes? The key here is you don't need a ton of light to like blow everything out. You just need to use the light you have and use it well. I got that TV. It helps me make sure that my shot is framed well and that there's not like glowing ear hairs coming out. I've had that before in the past or stuff coming out my nose or whatever. Like when it's just on the tiny flip out screen on my camera over there, I very rarely was able to pick up stuff like that. But over here on this screen, now I can definitely see when there needs to be something fixed so I don't shoot my entire video and then end up being like, ah, well, I guess the ear hairs and no hairs or nose hairs or whatever it's gonna be is just gonna be in the video. And then you guys turn the whole comment section into that thing and you kind of forget about what I say. <laughs> now, the main question people ask at this point is, Tim, what gear are you using? What camera, what microphone, what lens, what you know, lighting and everything? And I don't want you guys to get hung up on gear because the key here is not 
how expensive is your equipment and how fancy your gear, but it's how well are you using the lighting and the gear you already have. And that is why I love TechSmith Academy's free online program. There's an entire library of content just to help you really up your game in how professional your videos look and feel and the credibility that they're bringing. And the reason that I like going to online courses to learn this stuff, like at TechSmith Academy, is because a course is going to tell me everything I need from A to Z, step one to step 10, including all the steps in between that I wouldn't have even known to search for. These things answer problems and questions that I didn't even know I had until I start diving in. They have free courses on how to make better video tutorials and getting the most out of your video budget, storyboard basics, setting up a video shoot like this one. And they even have a lot of long form training videos with me, Roberto Blake, Sean Cannell, Amy Landino, Nick Nimmin, and a lot of your other favorite YouTube educators. And the best part, guys, is that it's all completely free. So click that link down in the description of this video to go sign up and start watching those videos so that you get more watch time or more credibility, your videos look more professional, and you grow your channel faster than ever before. While you're doing that, share with your other fellow creators here some of your best tips that have really helped you grow the credibility of your channel and really improve the professionalism of the videos that you're making. Read the other comments other people are leaving down there. You're going to learn a ton from them. I know I always do, and I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday. See you then. Bye.